there's so much to this universe that we're incapable of discovering. And it's orange and turmeric, so that sounds so freaking good. Very exciting reason. Seriously, like in the best mood because of it. Tuesday, I think it is today. I don't even know anymore. It's definitely Tuesday. It's currently 11.40 and I did my yoga right when I woke up. I was trying out a new video. Um, I really liked it. It was just short, effective, nice. I'm telling you, if I don't do any sort of movement in the morning now, like my body feels stiff throughout the whole day. Like I need to move my body in the morning. Anyways, that's not the point. I was just doing a little bit of work and I got hungry. So now I want to eat my breakfast and I'm going to show you guys this kind of like this apple pie oatmeal that my cousin Natasha actually posted a video of the recipe on her TikTok and I'm like oh my god that looks so good and I'm a sucker for new healthy recipes so I was like I gotta try that the next day I tried it and I've been making it ever since so thank you Natasha so I'm gonna pass this recipe along to you guys it's really easy and simple and it's so good like it literally tastes like you're eating apple pie but in oatmeal form like it's so good okay so first thing you do is you just take an apple and I like to peel it also you guys this is a homegrown apple how cool is that okay so now that it's peeled I'm just gonna chop it up in like little pieces Okay, so this is like the size pieces that I do. Okay, so now I go find a pot. I like just to use one of like the smaller ones that we have. So literally about yay big. So now I'm just going to heat up my pan. I mean, pot. And I'm just gonna melt some butter in it. I don't measure anything except for the oats. I just freelance everything. Just add some butter. It's vegan butter butter. It's vegan butter butter. It's vegan butter, by the way. Oh my god. It's vegan butter, by the way. So once your butter is like melting, just add in the apples. And then once you mix that around in the butter, just get cinnamon and sprinkle that shit in as much as you want. And then you just let it sit for a couple minutes, I guess, just to tender the apples a bit. Okay, so now that that is cooked for a couple minutes, I'm just gonna put a quarter cup of oats in. I'm not like extremely hungry right now, so that's all I kind of feel like having. And you just wanna double the amount of milk that you put oats. So if you put one cup of oats, you put two cups of milk type of thing. Just mix that in. Then just add like some sort of sweetener. I just like to put maple syrup and I'll just literally Put as much as I feel looks good. And then add a little bit of vanilla. And then just let it sit until they're cooked to your liking. And that's literally it. Okay, so I'm currently on the way to Lexi's house because I haven't seen her for a while and I miss her. We're just gonna catch up and stuff. I need to tell her that I'm leaving. I made myself a cold brew because I didn't want to go through the process of making a iced latte. And I was like, you know what? Easy decision, cold brew it is. The sun literally is coming out right now. Like this weather is so weird. Yesterday there was a double rainbow and we were driving over the, over the bridge and I was like, I was driving and Joel was in the passenger seat. I'm like, film it, film it because obviously it's a double rainbow. Like that's shit so cool cool because it was like raining and then it was sunny and the weather was just all over the place so there was a rainbow and he missed it and didn't film it which is kind of sad but it's fine got to experience it briefly while driving by so anyways yeah the weather's been so weird like it's been predicting rain and then it's been ending up raining for half the day being sunny it's so freaking weird anyways i'm gonna get going now Welcome to the Daily Diary podcast. Today I'm joined by a very special guest, my friend Michaela. She just asked me if I believed in like past lives, if I think I've lived 
in a past life and I said yes and then I was about to go into a tangent about the universe and I was like do you want to record a podcast episode and obviously she like she said yes oh she knows it all down there's so much to this universe that we're incapable of discovering because the universe it goes on for like forever like there's no ending to our universe and it's like we're this tiny ass little dot in the universe so it's like when you think about it that way it's like what else has happened without my knowledge right now do you know what i mean no i no, i know okay i think that our brains aren't capable at least how we've been taught and how we've learned we can't grasp the concept of an infinite universe or of, of anything going on forever no, like yeah. infinity it's very hard for us to like think about it in our brains you know it's almost too mind-boggling to think about too hard but that quick second yeah. is like your energy was focused yeah. on something and now it's somewhere else and yeah. then you're putting yeah. it back and it's just like sucking yeah. you out of the present no and not even that but it's like it leads into other things hey guys so sorry i didn't vlog before my battery died and like my other battery died so i literally had no battery power but we are just about to watch the bachelor and i just made a adapt gin hot coffee so i just wanted to shout them out it's not sponsored and basically it's like mushrooms i don't know if you guys like know a lot about them but they have like a lot of benefits like the ones that grow wild in the forests you can do your own research and everything i'll link their youtube channel and their website down below so you guys can check them out but basically they're, they're just like natural like immune boosting they're good for stress and just like adapting to everyday life stressors and all that shit so they're so good and i've noticed a huge difference on like my energy levels stress levels throughout the day taking my adaptogens and it's kind of like the new wave of medicine if you know what i mean so i'll just leave all their shit down below you guys can check them out because i'm probably not the one to explain this there's people who know more about it but i just know that they're good for you and they make me feel good so cheers to that it's good because it's like a nice drink that I can have in the evening because it only has like three milligrams of caffeine as opposed to like a coffee that has like 120 or more. So I'm not going to be caffeinated at all. And the caffeine like comes from like a natural root extract or something. So we go here. Bachelor night. That zebra blanket used to be in my room and I used to be obsessed with zebra print. It was like an addiction back in the day. Do you guys remember? I remember your, here, here, here. your look, little look, look. stool. My chair. Your chair, whatever it was. And I, I was obsessed with zebra print and tribal print and I got like leggings, a zebra print scarf. There's a whole face, but like I think a lot of people were, so it was fine. Hey guys, so I'm back in the coffee corner for a very exciting reason. Yesterday, I was at the grocery store because I just had to pick up something quickly for my dad. And then I was like, oh, we need another barista's oat milk. So then I mosey on down the oat milk section where I usually get the barista's oat milk, which is like all the time the best freaking oat milk for your coffee to ever exist on this planet. And I see a new one, a new one. So this is the one that I usually buy my holy grail, amazing, yes. This one is the new one. So this is the brand Earth's Own and this is the brand Silk. Now I'm pretty sure they were the exact same price. So we're gonna see which brand is better and if this one can overtake the OG. So we're gonna be a little competition. I'm gonna taste them both alone and see how they perform. And then I'm gonna make my coffee with this one and see how it tastes. I can't see them being too different just because they look like the exact same type of thing. Like they're in the same container. The only thing that's really different about them is the brand. Earth Zone to the right. Okay, so they do have a slight difference in color. I don't know if you guys can like see the difference in color. This one is more of like a yellow tone. This one's more of like a white. I don't know why, but I'm just like so, so excited. We're doing the OG one first, just to, like at the taste. Okay, knew already what that tasted like, but just needed a refresh. Cleansing my palette. Now going in for the second one. They taste different and I like, I like the OG better. Don't get me wrong, this one, it's still really good, still really good. But this one just has this thing to it that you just can't match. This one, the new one, is sweeter, a tad bit sweeter. All in all, I don't think anybody can replace my baby. Like nobody can replace this. But this is like a good op option. I'm gonna make my coffee with this one today and see how I like it, just to see how it mixes in like with the coffee in the comparison to that. So let's do that. <laughs> Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the coffee test, or should I say the milk test? Definitely smells more like just a regular oat milk, not like a barista's edition, like the other one, which I think is why it's throwing me off. Cause the other one is just so creamy and almost kind of like real milk. Mm. 
she's good she's really good i like it better than when i use just regular oat milk in my coffees 100 percent but it doesn't compare to the other one but it's still really good if the other one didn't exist i would be buying this it's good i like it Hello you guys, it is currently, I think it's like 12.30. I'm leaving to go get my COVID test, the ritual as you guys know. And it turned out to be a beautiful day. I didn't know why, but I didn't check the weather. I didn't expect it to be sunny. I put on this like, it's like really cozy, like this sweater thing imaging with sweatpants. And I look outside and I'm like, oh shit, like it looks hot. But then I walk outside and it's like a good temperature to wear this. But like my brain was deceiving me because I was like, holy shit, it's gonna be hot. But it's like chilly fall weather, which I actually am really here for. So I just have like, a few errands to run today i really want to go to um the store and get a few supplements just because i need to stock up on my supplements i like to take supplements just to keep my immunity up and just be overall healthy and then i also have this really random like shower piece that my dad needs me to go to rona to exchange and get a new one because like, the piece in the shower broke anyways really random so i have a couple of things to do but i need to get home asap because i have a meeting so i can't take too long but this test is not far away it's like at the usual spot which is only like 20 to 25 minutes away from my house which is literally amazing because everything is so damn far from my house so this is great 27 minutes oh looks like there's a little bit of traffic i also suck at like directions if that makes sense i need to turn on the gps for wherever i go because i literally like for the life of me i can't remember shit i don't pay really much attention the gps is my literal best friend i just want to know what they did back in the day when the gps's weren't a thing and you had to use maps like i honestly think that i wouldn't be able to drive during that time period if without a gps because i literally suck that much with directions like i'm not even kidding you oh my god i'm passing two horses and they're so freaking cute so brown one and a white one but anyways i'm gonna go now listen to my music and i will update you guys later whenever i pick up the camera next probably after my test so also it's october 1st today and i'm seriously like in the best mood because of it i love the month of october i just love festivities like holidays and shit like that in general so october is just such fall halloween vibes and i, I live for it Okay guys, so I just got out of like the whole food store and I decided to try a new kombucha since I usually get like the same brand and I decided to venture out. This one's called Rise, such cute packaging. That's what like attracted me to it and it's orange and turmeric. So that sounds so freaking good. So I'm just gonna like mix it up a little bit. One time kombucha has exploded on me before because I like shook it and then I opened it and it went everywhere. Um, anyways, so I'm actually so excited to try this. Please don't explode. Mm, that's good. That's really good. I got like a whole bunch of new kind of fun snacks to try out and I got another oat milk to try out. I'm obsessed, okay? Don't don't get mad at me, but I, I see this brand a lot like in the States and I didn't even know we had it here. So I was like, I have to try it because it sold at literally no other grocery store than the one that I was at. So yeah, I'll show you guys the snacks and do a little bit of a grocery haul when I get home. I'm actually like getting hot in this after doing all those errands and like running in and out. I feel hot like I have the air conditioning on now because I think it honestly got hotter than it was like in the morning. So I'm sweating a little bit and I don't have a shirt under this. So I have to keep it on, but it's okay because we're going home now. So see you guys when I get home. Okay, I just finished my meeting. I had to do it kind of right away when I got home so i didn't have a chance to do the grocery haul so we're gonna do that now i got these vegan cheddar puffs i think we've had these at home before they're really really freaking good and then i got two gummy worm smart sweets because i haven't seen these yet i haven't tasted them yet and i need to try them like you guys know i'm obsessed this needs to happen i got new brand of oat milk i'm so excited to try this maybe we'll do a taste test in next vlog because i already like talked so much about milk this vlog and then i got some vitamins i got a super multivitamin i got zinc i got biotin and I got black elderberry and elderberry is supposed to be so good for your immune system I got this popcorn which is dairy free and it's supposed to be kind of cheesy I'm so excited to try this it's made with coconut olive oil and avocado oil I'm so excited to try this that's all I got I'm so excited to try these new snacks I bought them specifically for tonight because 
just like a Friday night, so I'm we're staying in and watch some movies and have some good healthy snacks so I don't feel guilty. Also, I'm trying to like keep my diet way more clean because it's eczema season and if you guys don't know, like I struggle with eczema in the winter in these times of the year. So I want to make sure that my diet is kind of at its peak right now. So got to keep my health up and not like indulge in too many crazy unhealthy foods. So that's the haul.